team sport is causing concern among parents and health officials. We also show you how your child could be getting easy access to images that glorify this dangerous trend. But tonight, local supporters of backyard wrestling say they're getting a bad rap in the press. For more on this, let's go to NBC 33. Zach Myers, who's standing by live. Zach? Mary, we're live here at the Allen County Public Library, the home of a local cable access show that features backyard wrestling, and they say they're being treated unfairly by the media. As co-founder of the Ground Zero Wrestling Alliance here in Fort Wayne, Jeff Landis says although violence is naturally a part of a backyard wrestling show, he says his fellow wrestlers are in it for entertainment and sport. Sure, we have some extreme stuff, but you gotta do what you gotta do. But we don't want to kill each other. We're all friends and part of the show. We've had one, a few instances where, like, one I threw my wrestlers into a glass window, the you know, barbed wire thing that I had, but that was, like, fake blood, but it looked real. Of course, not all of the injuries are fake. Look at the professor wrestlers, they get injured. They come back. I mean, I've been, I had the shoulder injury and I had heart and lung surgery, and I'm back. Jeff says bad press and media reports only show the worst aspects of wrestling, extreme stunts that his organization would never do. By throwing somebody off of a building, what's that going to prove? That's, that's stupidity. I'm not saying, you know, it's fun to watch, but I'm just saying, we, we won't do that. There's been a couple times I lost my temper with a couple of wrestlers, but there's always someone there who's going to try to calm you down and make sure you don't take it too far. Now, the wrestlers we spoke with today say that many of those extreme stunts that you see on TV and the various reports, they say they would never try something that extreme because it goes beyond the boundaries of what they would consider to be entertainment. We're live at the Allen County Public Library. Mary? Well, Zach, some of the people you talked to and uh, had been injured, what do they say about the people who have been killed and, and very seriously injured in this kind of wrestling? Well, they don't deny that that does happen, but what they say is that's simply examples of the extreme and un fortunate cases when people just take things too far and don't think about safety first. Mary? All right, Zach, thank you very much for the live report tonight.